there were no orthographic views that I could use to uh, trace the Jaguar emblem hood ornament, so I am uh, doing this free form. Oh, all extra geometry was created using the extender plus, and you see I'm rotating around, realigning each extender plus to create a perpendicular angle to drive into the next extender plus. Here I'm using rotation to extend the skull, creating just a basic shape, a uh, little more stretch, stretch, using rotation to create a better curvature in the jaw, open mouth. Uh, notice that before I started uh, forming the teeth, extending the teeth, I created a uh, uh, non-caged version of the poly to allow for proper shape. You shouldn't use extender plus to create new geometry unless you're absolutely sure uh, what shape is going to ensue. Doing the same thing with the lower teeth, shaping the unsubpatched poly, then extending and moving it forward into position, extending again. Notice I reshaped the uh, polygon to make it perpendicular to the next extender plus action. Forming geometry for the nose bridge. Uh, this is a low poly model, so it's very... Uh, we're basically going for as much speed as I can muster, which is not much at my age and as few polys as possible to create the geometry. Experimenting with rotation of the polys, uh, spin quads, to create some basic good poly flow. Since this subject will not be animated, I can get by with a lot less uh, appropriate poly flow. Nostrils, notice the nostrils were not created until they were, the polys were put in the proper position so that you didn't, so all that has to be moved is one poly rather than five. The eyes, same, same thing. Uh, shaping the geometry first, then extending to allow for a more pleasing shape extending the brow to give the jaguar look. Spin quads. Shaping the geometry to make it more pleasing, more authentic. Here is another example where uh, using non-subpatch polys first to achieve a basic shape that will allow or the proper shape to be carried backwards as I extend the body. Notice I'm using stretch extensively to create the basic shape. Skinning for the neck, wider for the chest. Watching the shape of the back to maintain a straight back line. Here I'm using stretch to follow the basic contours of the lower aspects of the legs. As they stretch out across the ornament. Here again, uh, unsubpatched polys achieve appropriate shape of the, the uh, arm and then extend. And notice before I extend further I try to put a proper angle, usually perpendicular, to the next extension. A little modeling. A 
spin quads to allow for the shape of the upper arm. Again, minimal polys. This is far from sufficient for a, an actual working organic model. Shaping the geometry to allow for distinction of the tail and the legs. Spin quads trying again to get a little more shape to the upper arm. New geometry using extender plus rotation to differentiate the tail from the legs. The rotation caused the legs to be flat, so remodeling the back of the legs. A little shaping. Creating the base for the Jaguar, so stretch, flat. And I pretty much know that this will look okay extended, so I can go ahead and extend without going into sub unsubpatch mode. I think the most important part of this modeling session is to point out how unsubpatched shapes can give you an indication of what your subpatched extension is going to look like. You use that a lot. Notice that the legs were too close together. You just basically selected them, stretched them apart. Trying again to create a little better poly flow for the upper arm. Uh, differentiating the muscle hollow between muscles in the back and then notice again I use the unsubpatched mode to, to determine the position of the subpatched extension and notice that my teeth are all part in one with the jaw so used the uh, bandsaw to differentiate the geometry somewhat. Tweaking modeling. Asymmetrical pause. Pretty much done except for some tweaking in the model. Uh, differentiating the pedestal from the model by adding extender uh, plus geometry and then trying to achieve a little better poly flow. Same for the back. 